Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I'm glad to have you guys here. Today is a Sunday, and you know what? Bitcoin has more twists and turns since its beginning till now. I can't tell you how many times things will go wrong or things will go right. Sometimes if things go right, Bitcoin price pops up. If things go wrong, Bitcoin price goes down, and it reacts very heavily to what's happening in the marketplace. And it's been that way from the start. We've had more ups and downs, <laughs> but the overall trend over the years has been up. It's been in a bull market since its start, actually, to tell you the truth. But we've had these, these bear markets within the giant bull market. So we might be facing another little bit of a bear, bearish trend, and there's a few reasons why. And we're going to get into one of the big reasons right now. Let's open up the charts right here and take a look. Uh, data suggests that a Ponzi scheme may be preparing to dump thousands of Bitcoins. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I think this Ponzi scheme has been dumping hundreds of Bitcoins. And I think that's had an effect. But they're, they might be preparing to dump thousands of Bitcoins. And that would have a more profound effect. But what does this do? If they... If this Ponzi scheme dumps thousands of Bitcoins into the market and they knock the price down, they might be doing all of us a favor. We can we can get, get some more, you know, before the big price raises come later. Uh, but let's take a look at this. It says, eyes have been closely watching to see how the situation surrounding the PLUS token, it's called PLUS token, Ponzi scheme, unfolds. And recent data suggests that some of the individuals who ran the scam may be preparing to offload a significant amount of their cryptocurrency onto the markets. Uh, they see movements of these coins. And uh, here they are, evidently. I guess, are these the people? Yan Yan and Chen uh, and Lam Sing and Dong and... Wang something and and Hang Yai. Uh, there there's six of them here. I guess he what does it say? Uh, uh, that there's a Ponzi scheme is what is, is what's going on. I guess and uh, they're moving a lot of coins. Uh, let me see. I guess they got over a thousand bitcoins have moved from the wallet addresses. And they've been moving into multiple exchanges. Uh, even more Bitcoin is being transferred to exchanges. In addition to the aforementioned Bitcoin, it was transferred to exchanges. Whale Alert, an account on Twitter that offers data about large amounts of cryptocurrency that's being transferred, explained that four large transactions totaling 22,923 Bitcoins could be from PLUS token. Although this claim remains unconfirmed. So, so they see 22,923 Bitcoins moving in the network. And they're thinking, that the, they're thinking that these possibly could be from this plus token scam. And of course these could dump on the exchanges. Uh, eminently, there's, there's, there's pressure that these could actually dump on the exchanges, which could bring the Bitcoin price down. 
I don't know. Maybe 8,000? Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a lot of Bitcoin. 26,000 Bitcoins. It could bring the price down significantly. But it wouldn't stay down very long. And uh, it might be a chance to... to I mean... <laughs> let's take a look here. Different article. The real Satoshi Nakamoto is reportedly set to reveal his or her identity on August 18th. Well, today is August 18th. What's going on? It says, Real Satoshi Nakamoto will reveal his identity on August 18th and give his vision for Bitcoin's future. It says that the Bitcoin creator reportedly holds 980,000 Bitcoins worth over $10 billion. The real Satachi Nakamoto creator of Bitcoin is supposed to reveal himself at 4 p.m. EST. That would be Eastern Standard Time. Well, 3.28 p.m. Uh, no, we're, I'm an hour ahead of Eastern Standard Time. So it's 2.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's only in a couple hours from now. We're going to have to watch. I'm going to get this show out quick so I'm ahead of it, uh, you guys. And we can see if this really does happen. So Satachi Nakamoto Renaissance Holding, the company in question, has promised that real Satachi will come forth after remaining Bitcoin's anonymous creators for more than a decade and reveal. Uh, the reveal is set to take place this Sunday. According to news outlet, the real Nakamoto has guarantee that this is absolutely not a PR stunt and the individual in question is Bitcoin's legitimate creator. In addition, the holdings company is claiming that Satoshi possesses 980,000 Bitcoins worth $10 billion at today's price. The reveal is set to take place in three stages. On August 18th, being centered around unraveling the mystery identity of Bitcoin's creator. Nakamoto intends to supply his real name and the reasoning behind the holding of nearly a million Bitcoin for close to a decade. He'll also reportedly give his country's origin professional background and intention for Bitcoin's future, what is being referred to as a renaissance for the cryptocurrency. A second stage of the reveal will come the following day on August 19th at 4 p.m., with the final to set place on August 20th. The real Satoshi is claiming to unveil a project called Tebula Rasa on Tuesday, which will be a clean slate version for Bitcoin's transformational rebirth. Wow, you know, if this comes true, this is really big news for cryptocurrency. Uh, I mean, I've doubted Satoshi Nakamoto. But, I mean, I'm open to what happens here. And I'm open, like i got an open mind. I'm not going to say, hey, you know what, the, this isn't real or anything, until I wait and see. I'm, I'm one of these people... I want to verify everything, make sure that it's true and accurate before I go saying, hey, you know, this is the real guy, you know, but but this is very interesting. <laughs> I find it very interesting. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm kind of waiting on pins and needles right now. It's 3.31 p.m. right here. That means it's 2.31 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time, 2.31. So it's only an hour and a half from now we're going to get this big reveal. Wow, I'm going to be tuned into the news to find out what's going on, you know, or try to get in there and find out what's going on. Thank you guys for listening to this show. I'll catch you guys again very, very soon. Uh, this has been your weekend show. Uh, I'll be back all week on, all week long doing shows for you guys and uh, trying to keep you updated on the latest on what's happening in cryptocurrency. But, you know, I also do hurricane reports on this channel. So, but... This has been a dead season for hurricanes so far. It's been the most inactive season I've seen in a long time. And I think it's got to do with these abnormal weather patterns we're having. Thank you guys for listening and bye bye for now.
ma.